this is Marty Kokish and welcome to Marty's Garage. Um, so uh, a couple weeks ago our, our sob died on us and so uh, um, we really didn't want to put the amount of money into it that it would cost to fix it. It was, it was uh, rather lab labor intensive and I don't have the equipment to do it, and it as, as you I saw in that other video. So um, what we think we're going to do is we're just going to sell that sob and we bought my wife a new car. Hooray! Sort of. <laughs> so uh, you can see it, it's over here. It's uh, we got our uh, 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Um, but it, uh, it's got a little bit of a story to it. Um, this was uh, uh, a man's high school son's uh, car and he smashed it up quite a bit. <laughs> I think uh, you know, it was like three accidents within a year. So uh, I have a few things to fix up, but uh, I did some research. Parts for this are very inexpensive. Um, it's got somewhat high mileage. Uh, it's got 159,000 miles, but uh, um, from everything I've read and heard, this uh, this four liter straight six engine is great, and they run forever, and yada yada yada. So that's good, and, and it's still. And we took it out for a drive, and uh, it's mechanically sound. Um, the uh, uh, it runs really good. The uh, the uh, transmission seems good. The brakes seem good. It it there's no play in the steering or anything. It, and the alignment's good, so uh, me mechanically and all that, it's good. And uh, but we just have some body work to do, so I'll just kind of go around the car real quick and show you a few things before I get started on it. Uh, so right here we've got the uh, the passenger side mirror. It's missing the mirror piece. This the uh, it still moves and stuff with the the automatic deal. So uh, uh, we just kind of need the mirror piece um, up here on the front. Um, up here on this uh, this uh, headlight turn assembly thing, this is cracked, and you can see here the front bumper is missing. Uh, the grill is cracked right here. Um, this this whole headlight turn signal assembly is missing, so we're gonna have to fix that. This fender, it's kind of dark over here, but maybe you can see it. This fender. Uh, we'll probably replace, and then uh, I'll kind of loop around to the back of the car. Um, and we've got an ouch right here. Um, I don't, I don't know if we'll. We're not going to replace this panel or anything, but we're going to try to pull it out and shape it as best we can, um, and then uh, replace this uh, fixture right here. And there's a, there's a you can't I can't re even really tell from looking at it here, but there's a couple small dents in here on the tailgate that we can pull off. But uh, um, so this is the new car, um, and I, I'm kind of excited. So, but uh, my wife is we've been carpooling for a couple weeks now, and uh, she's pretty anxious to be out on her own again. I I must smell or something. <laughs> she doesn't like being in a car with me. <laughs> and, uh, no, I don't know. I don't smell, I smell like roses. <laughs> but, uh, 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 yeah, so I'm going to take a break from the MG and try to get her car uh, roadworthy again. So, uh, so I'll put a, so the next couple episodes may be about the Jeep versus the MG. So, um, so that's, that's all I have for today. Um, uh, yeah, so. I'll uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, back. Um, I think I'm gonna call it quits for for this episode now and then because um, I'm gonna do an oil change and start taking pieces off and stuff and and those might take a bit of time. So I I don't want these episodes to get too long. So um, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, any feedback, uh, send it to Marty's Garage at uh, uh, gmail.com and. Uh, I've set up a, a website for kind of to act as a <clears throat> portal to all my Marty's Garage stuff. That's www.martune.net, uh, uh, M-A-R-T-U-N-E, uh, and, uh, and 
the show is available on iTunes and the Zoom Marketplace. So, uh, thanks for watching.